time for my October favourites. Um, October's gone really quickly for me and I'm filming this at the weekend before Halloween so I'm feeling very autumnal and I've got a lot of favourites that I want to talk to you about. I've got some fashion, some beauty and a bit of lifestyle stuff. So I'm going to get right into it and start off with beauty and my first favourite product that I've been loving is the Clinique um, City Block Sheer SPF 25. It's a very light colour. Um, I believe you can buy the clear version as well, but I thought I would get the coloured version just because it does, while well, it doesn't give much coverage, it does add a bit of like evenness to your skin tone and it's a very light colour. Um, i put a tiny bit on my hand for you so you can see. It's oil free so it doesn't clog my pores and it really just gives a lovely um, finish. It doesn't dry shiny or sticky or anything like that, it doesn't smell of SPF at all. And it just is a really nice lightweight moisturiser for the autumn months. And I like to wear SPF on my skin um, throughout autumn and winter, even though it might not feel like you need it. I think it is important to protect your skin all year round and prevent any environmental damage. And I know they do say that your SPF does wear off during the day, maybe like after two hours or so, but I do think it is important just to do something rather than nothing. So yeah, I've really been loving the clinic, Sheer City Block or City Block Sheer SPF 25. Next we have a bronzer, um, and this is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Light Medium Matte Bronzer. And I've used quite a lot of this, as you can see from the product. And it's a really nice matte, um, natural looking bronzer. I find that this time of the year my skin's very, can be quite dull looking, and I need to bring a bit of life back to it. Um, so while I love bronzer all year round, this time of year particularly, um, I find it really useful and I've really been enjoying using it in my eyes, on my eyes, as like a crease shade. Um, so I get a fluffy brush like the MAC 217, swirl it around in the bronzer and then just add it in the crease and it really kind of like ties in the makeup look together. Um, so I've really been enjoying that and yeah, I'll be very sad when this runs out but I do have other bronzers to use so I can just use them I suppose. Um, and then carrying on with the kind of glowy, bronzy theme, um, I've really been enjoying using the NUX, I don't know how you say it, the Prodigio oil. It's a multi-purpose dry oil for the hair, um, face and body. I haven't tried it on my hair yet and I've not used it on my face but on my body I absolutely love it. So basically what you do is get a small, it comes in a little pump which is really luxurious and the bottle looks so gorgeous on your dressing table and you just pump a bit out and you can mix it with a moisturiser um, which is how I like to use it. Previously I had this but I didn't really know when to use it because I thought it's too much, like the shimmer's not like over the top but I thought it'd be too much for the daytime. But when you mix it in with a moisturiser it gives a really lovely um, glow to the skin, like it adds a golden luminescence without being too, without using a fake tan and without being too over the top or looking like add glitter thrown over you. So really been enjoying this. It smells absolutely gorgeous and yeah, it's going to last me ages because I mean let's face it, it's huge. Um, so it says 95% ingredients of natural origin, so it's got really good nourishing oils in there so it's really good for your skin as well and not just a cosmetic thing. So really enjoying the Nooks oil. The favourite I've been loving this month is the L'Oreal Colorish Lip Palette in the shade Nude, I believe. Um, I'm sure it's Nude. And I mentioned this in my vlog where I was doing a Get Ready With Me, but you get some lovely, lovely, lovely nude shades. I particularly like the first three, obviously, because it's me. And you get also get a couple darker ones just to kind of mix it up a bit but what I love about this is that you can literally just like customise your own lip colour um, so you can take a couple and you can mix them together and it just gives a really nice um, natural looking finish to the lips it's not as kind of harsh as lipstick it has a slight gloss to them it smells really nice, it smells like strawberries um, not the kind of old fashioned lipstick smell which I hate and yeah you get a little mirror so it's really nice and compact to take out with you and um, yeah so I've been really impressed with L'Oreal makeup recently and it's one of my favourite picks. My last beauty item this month I want to mention is the Essie Cocktail Bling um, nail polish. Essie is one of my favourite nail polish brands because they last so long on the nails and they're really glossy and they go on so evenly 
and this colour is like a grey blue shade. Um, I've got it on my nails now with the glitter over the top. Um, I'm going to do a whole blog post on how I achieve this kind of grey glittery look which I've been enjoying for the autumn months and um, yeah it's just a really nice like if you don't want to wear red all the time or like dark burgundy colours which I don't always um, <clears throat> but you want something a bit more like different, a bit unique um, this is a really nice shade and it goes quite well with my outfit today and um, yeah I find it goes really nicely with all the kind of autumnal tones and just makes my nails and my skin kind of like look pretty good so I've been really enjoying um, wearing that colour this month and I keep taking my nail polish off and then putting this one back on so I think I always think that's a good sign of a favourite nail colour. Now on to the kind of like homeware bits, I've been really into like um, styling my room recently if you saw my weekend vlog um, which is my last video I'll link it down below if you haven't then you'll see that I've kind of like rearranged my room a bit and trying to like do little things to it um, without spending too much money and one of these things is candles and I think it's because it's autumn let's face it everyone loves being cosy inside and kind of like snuggling up in your duvet and a candle really can kind of make a room feel more like a home and I've found these one candles of B&M um, you might have seen them on the blogosphere because a lot of people have been talking about them um, B&M's is basically like a British um, pound shop, really cheap um, products and you can get like homeware, some beauty even, um, food, like everything you can think of and these are a really good dupe for the Bath and Body Works candles and I couldn't resist picking some up. I've got one lit behind me which is the Marshmallow Fireside one I think and then this is the Black Cherry Merlot which is a nice purple colour and then I got brown sugar spice and they're only like 2 99 each which I thought was really good and they just smell so warming and comforting and yeah I'm really excited to use these two um, I'm trying to limit myself to one at a time so I don't go through them too quickly but they seem to last ages and they give a really nice like subtle smell to your room so I love lighting one of those in the evening and kind of just like relaxing after work and yeah after I've had a shower it's really nice. I've got a couple fashion favourites to show you um well more accessories I suppose. The first is some trainers and I've had these Nike I think they're free run fives for quite a few months now. I got them in March when I went to New York and I originally brought boots with me and by like day two my feet were absolutely dying. So as soon as I managed to get to a Nike um, or Nike shop, I picked these up and they're one of the best purchases I've ever made for my wardrobe because they're so comfy, they're li so light, like really really light and yeah basically like I wear them at the weekends if I'm just going out and about and I don't want to dress up or I wear them when I'm going on runs, um, I say runs, it's normally like once a week <laughs> um, which is actually this morning so yeah I wore these this morning out on my run and they just kind of like hug your feet really well and don't, um, I feel like they're doing good for my feet rather than damaging them like, um, because running obviously isn't that great for your joints if you do it too much. Um, so yeah I feel like these are nice and cushioned and really sturdy and they haven't really worn too much um, since I bought them. Lovely shape, nice and sleek. Um, I would like a kind of like black pair, like all black or all grey or something, but I quite like the orange detail and the bright green. Um, it's a bit unlike me but I think if I'm wearing all black um, when I'm working out, which I often do, then it's quite nice to have the kind of pop colour there. So those are a definite favourite of the month. I really would appreciate them. Um, when it's muddy outside and raining because it does, they do grip really well so you don't slip and slide everywhere. And then my last fashion favourite is this scarf from H&M. Um, I went on a bit of a H&M spree when I was in London and I got this jumper as well. Um, I might do a haul on it, I'm not sure yet, but um, one of those necklaces is also H&M from a while ago. So I do love H&M because they have some really affordable pieces and they're just really pretty and um, they look more expensive than they are I think. So I got this scarf which is a nice corally pink colour. Um, if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen it there because posted a couple of outfit shots with it and um, yeah it's really snuggly and warm and it's quite big but it's not too like overpowering you can still wrap it around you and still like breathe um, 
sides. Yeah, I really like this scarf. I think it's really um, fresh and pretty and really nice to kind of like add a pop of colour again, the pops of colour, um, to my black coat that I have, which is also from H&M actually, so I do, I do love my H&M products. And yeah, so I've really been enjoying that scarf this month. It doesn't shed too much, it does shed a bit. Um, I really need to get one of those kind of lint rollers to get rid of any fluff and hair or anything. So yeah, that is my last fashion favourite. And a couple of other favourites I want to mention are the Neon Happiness program. I've been doing it every day for I think it's 20 days now. Um, really been enjoying it. It's kind of like it's a free thing you can sign up to. Um, I'll link it down below. And you just basically do a task each day. They're not difficult tasks like something like um, run yourself a bath, like things like that, really easy things to do. So it's kind of like been nice to do different things each day and kind of like a little challenge for myself, but a really nice challenge. So I've been enjoying that. And then also I've got a new app on my phone, which I'm going to show you, just grab my phone. Um, so I have the iPhone 6. I've recently taken my case off because I've quite I quite miss seeing the back of it. Does anyone else feel like that? I think it's nice and thin and like feels so much sleeker without my um, case on it. I know it's a bit risky, but I do have like a, have a screen protector, um, which is quite thick. So I'm hoping that it'll be okay like that. Um, but anyway, I was going to show you what I've been loving. It's this app called Deezer. Um, this isn't sponsored at all. Um, but my dad actually got me onto this when I was complaining about Apple Music and how I found it really slow and it would always take ages to buffer on my phone. And even when I was like out and about, I found I couldn't listen to music. I don't know if it was just me, but I thought you needed Wi-Fi to use it. I was paying like nine, ten pound a month, and I thought I really want something that actually works properly. And um, also with Apple Music, you couldn't, I couldn't work out a way to sync it without making it sync to my whole iTunes library. And I didn't want like thousands of songs on my phone because I didn't have enough storage. So I've got Deezer now, which is really, really good. I'm on the free trial still, so um, but so far so good. You've got all these different playlists, a bit like Apple Music if you've got that, or Spotify I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, I've got playlist picks and I have the ones like old school R&B, that kind of thing. So yeah, I've just been enjoying that and I kind of like, this is one of my favourite songs, The Weeknd and Star called Starboy. It loads really quickly and it's just been nice to walk to work with different music each day or when I'm on runs it's really nice to listen to and yeah you can create playlists so I'm really impressed with that and it's called Deezer it's D-E-E-Z-E-R -E 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 if you haven't heard of it already um, so yeah that was a free app and I've really been enjoying that and then I thought I'd mention a foodie favourite um, it's actually I ran out of it, I think, so I couldn't show you. But the Pippin Nut um, peanut butter and maple syrup nut butter is so, so good. It's crunchy peanut butter with like a hint of maple syrup. It tastes so sweet and so, like, mm, I just love it on everything. Um, so I add it to like my porridge in the morning. I have it on like a bagel. Um, I don't think you could make any savoury sauce with it because it is quite sweet with maple syrup, but it's really nice, kind of like different alternative to normal peanut butter um, and it was on offer in I think it's the same breeze for like £1.80 um, and normally it's like 3 50 or so so pretty good value for money so yeah I've really been enjoying that and I think that is all my favourites of this month um, it went a lot quicker than I thought I thought I had more to show you but I hope you enjoyed what I've shown you anyway and I will be back soon for another video. Um, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, if there's anything you want me to film or um, show you. And I'll be doing more blog posts on my blog, ellarider.com, so check that out if you want to see more from me. And please subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I would really appreciate it and it's nice to know that people are watching my videos and I like hearing from you guys. So anyway, I will see you soon and I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.